In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus BaNO3 2, potassium sulfate plus barium nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. Turns out all we really need to do for this one is to put a 2 as our coefficient in front of the KNO3. So the molecular equation, that's balanced. Next, we need to write the states. So potassium sulfate, potassium compounds, usually aqueous, they'll dissolve in water. And then nitrates, very soluble, that should dissolve in water too. It'll be aqueous, split apart into its ions. For the barium sulfate, let's look that up on a solubility table here, just to make sure. So as we look at our solubility table, barium is right here. So we can go across, and then sulfate is right here. So here's our barium sulfate. It has that I next to it. That means it's insoluble. So when these two compounds react, they'll actually produce a solid that'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. It's a precipitate. This is a double displacement reaction and we have this precipitate. So this is gonna be insoluble or what we could say is a solid, it won't dissolve. Or the potassium nitrate, again, nitrate's very soluble. So that's gonna be aqueous as well. So now we have the states. Once we've written these states, we'll split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. So we need to know the charge to do that. Potassium's in group one on the periodic table, so it'll have a one plus charge. Sulfate, you should look that up on a table of ions, common polyatomic ions, or memorize that it's two minus. Probably better to memorize the sulfate ions two minus. Barium, group two, that's gonna have a two plus ionic charge. And then the nitrate, that's one minus. Nitrate's another really good one to memorize. All right, so we have those. Let's split the reactants up. So I could put the potassium ion, K plus, and I have two of those. And I'll write aqueous at the end for these compounds. I won't write that now. And the sulfate, we have SO4, two minus one of those. Plus we have the barium ion, Ba2 plus, and then we have the nitrate here, NO3 minus. And we have two nitrates, so we need to put a coefficient of two in front of this. For the products, we said barium is plus two and the sulfate's minus two, but this is a solid, and in net ionic equations, we don't break solids apart. They're together at the bottom of the test tube, so we're not gonna split them up into their ions. We'll just write BaSO4 plus we had our plus for the potassium and negative for the nitrate. So we have two potassium ions and then two nitrate ions. Okay, so at this point, we have the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions that are on both sides of this complete ionic equation here. Let's see, we're looking for things that are the same on the reactants and products. And I can see right away I have 2K plus here and 2K plus here. So I can just cross those out. Let's see, two nitrates in the reactants and then two nitrates in the products. So those two, just cross them out. That'll leave us with the net ionic equation. So we have our sulfate, we have our barium ion, and then we have our barium sulfate. So let me clean this up, write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely formatted net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus BaNO32. So this is the complete net ionic equation for K2SO4 plus BaNO32, potassium sulfate and barium nitrate. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first in the net ionic equation. It really doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Either way, this is the correct net ionic equation. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.